Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Carlson from the Grove Animal Hospital and Holistic Center. And this morning we're discussing case number 00402, three-year-old golden doodle uh, that has symptoms of licking the back paw. And the, if we look at the CHT analysis, we see the root cause for it. If these are symptoms here, when, what's the why part? Why is it happening? And for two reasons, we have lymphatics. And the lymphatic system itself is the lymph fluid and the lymph nodes the lymph ducts which it travels through and then the muscle pump because it needs normal skeletal muscle to make it move. Spell here. Sorry about that. And um, if we look at the main points, we've got tonsil. Up here we have the sinus tract. I'm representing these with different symbols. The ears, and then the teeth and jaw line. Looks like kind of a scary monster, but. The head is where the entry point to the world, that's where all the openings are. So anything that's entering through the lymphatics there is getting into the system. And so we have the teeth and jaw line, which is this one. And we also have the sinus uh, as well. So actually, excuse me, the tonsil. So it would be this one here. And if it's escaping into the system, the lymph fluid itself is made up of white blood cells and also chyle from the intestinal tract. So these things are adding into it and that's where a lot of the T cells are, B cells, natural killer cells, to help to try to clear all this out. And if it's not doing a good job, the inflammation is gonna show up somewhere. In this case, on the back paw. Now what that might feel like is if lymph fluid is getting trapped or inflamed, it's going to have a different type of sensation, maybe pressure, maybe pins and needles, maybe an ache, something like that. And we know, all know what dogs do when they feel a sensation, they're going to lick at it, bite at it, try to solve it, but they're not really going to understand it. And first of all, when you think about licking in, in conventional terms, we're thinking about allergy. And on the IHT, CHT itself, there wasn't no aller there wasn't allergy points there. And so it's not an allergy, but a lymphatic inflammation. So if we start to use prednisone and things like that, we find that we're actually suppressing the immune response and not helping. So this wouldn't be a good choice. So conventional therapy may be used for if we're feeling uncomfortable or traumatizing the skin but it could only be used short term, otherwise we might cause issues with the uh, immune response. So it's really the body's supposed to react that way. It's just creating a symptom that brings it to our attention. And so how do we resolve this? Well, first of all, we don't want to suppress it so much right now unless it's causing a lot of discomfort. So we do want to use hemp oil as the infusion for the tonsil, and the teeth and jawline. It's gonna be five drops per day for three months, and that helps to balance out this area up here. Once this is balanced, then general progression is sort of like a scale, if you will, is that right now we're not balanced, but over time, as we're getting things balanced out, we start to tip the scale in, in terms of balance to reduce the symptoms. And that can happen right away, or it may take up to three months to see it. In the meantime, we're monitoring for progressive improvement. Okay. The second thing is, if we're not changing diet, what could we add to the diet to help? And so we can use standard process, Biost, and also Zypan. And these are products that help clear the lymphatics. 
And those are specific for both of those. So that was, we're not wondering, standard process has you know, hundreds of different uh, 